How's it going everyone? It's Abdali here bringing you guys another awesome tips and tricks tutorial video for Super Mario Odyssey. Today's tips and tricks tutorial video is all about learning how to get an unlimited amount of coins very, very simply. Now, I've done the work of going through and playing the entire game and I found a couple areas where you can get a decent amount of coins with a little bit of grinding. So I'm going to show you guys the couple of methods in doing so. Now, you guys might be wondering, like, what do you need coins for? Well, in the game, you're going to need coins to purchase a lot of different moons, of course, buying all of the different costumes if you want to complete the game and do that. But of course, you don't necessarily need to, but it's just something for all those super completionists out there like myself. So here we go, let's take a look, let's put it into context and I'll show you exactly what's going on. If you go to any one of the Crazy Cap stores, as you can see right over here, you can buy a number of power moons in order to help you speed through the game. And of course, you can buy all these different costumes provided you have enough power moons to unlock them. Take a look right over here, the skeleton suit, 9,999, yeah. That's gonna take a little bit of time, but luckily with the tips in this video, you guys will be all set. And of course, if you don't have access to the amiibo costumes, such as, uh, you know, Gold Mario, or the Bowser suit, or Wedding Peach, or any of those guys, you can purchase them in the store for thousands of coins. Case in point, 3,000, 3,000, and so on and so forth. But this, skeleton suit, that's exactly what everyone wants, right? That's what we're here for, so let's do this, let's get to grinding, and I'll show you guys a couple different ways of getting said coins. Now, for starters, if you're at the beginning of the game, you obviously know about the slot machines, right? In Toast Arena, right in the middle, you have a slot machine where you can absolutely pay 10 coins, and once you're done paying the 10 coins, you're going to be able to play uh, a little bit of a cappy-throwing uh, roulette game. And what you want to be doing in this one is aiming for the coins. If you pay attention to the roulette and how it is, there's only four different things that you get. And of course, as you guys can see over here, shake, shake your Wii Remote so that you guys have the ability to get the coins really fast. So, this one's pretty decent. I would say every 20 seconds or so, you can get about 30 coins. And, you know, it's pretty simple. You just wait until the, the, uh, the Royal Heart, or whatever that Super Heart is, wait until that shows up, and then as soon as it goes away, you toss your cap, and then you're able to get that. So, 30 coins for about every 20 seconds. But the margin for error on that one is dependent on how good you are in timing. Likewise, if we head on over to the Metro Kingdom, there's also a slot machine over there. Now, this slot machine's a little bit different, considering the fact that it's got four different slots on it. So, it's gonna be a little bit different. Let's go take a look. If you guys have already played through Metro Kingdom, provided you guys have, have the warps and everything like that, warp on over to this building right below it, to the south, and you can long jump over to there. If you don't have this warp on the rooftop garden, then definitely walk through the main streets, and I showed you guys exactly on the map on where to go. So, this is gonna be the exact same concept. Uh, I would say 30 coins every 20 seconds, and, and you would think that this one's a little bit more. You get a little bit more coinage out of this one, but it's really not. Uh, so with this one, Cappy's range is about three of the slots. So what you're going to need to do is if you're playing with a Pro Controller or the Joy-Con controllers, you're going to have to shake a little bit in order to do so. And of course, once you shake, Cappy will go an extended length in order to do it. So I'll show you guys one more time. It's uh, just playing the slots, standing right over here in this spot. And then as soon as you see that, uh, that special heart with the crown on it, you guys can absolutely throw your coins, toss Cappy, collect all of them, and then rinse and repeat if you so choose to do so. All right, pretty easy, right? Let's do it one more time. Like, <laughs> I like this, I like doing it. But of course, if you guys are looking for a better way, uh, obviously Toast Arena, because you're getting the exact same amount of coins. We had 30, 30 coins to uh, start off, as you guys can see over there, we paid the 10, and then now from 30, 30, we went to 30, 60. So, 30 coins. You'd think it'd be like exponential or you think there'd be like a way of multiplying depending on how well you do? That would be amazing, but no, that's not it. So they only pay 30 coins out. Now, I'm gonna show you guys, just to prove a point that this slot machine doesn't give you more, uh, head on over to the Luncheon Kingdom. And the Luncheon Kingdom allows the exact same slot machine game, but with an added challenge of doing five slots at the same time. All right. It's a little bit tougher, right? The margin for error on that one is really, really high. So if your timing is off or if you don't shake correctly, uh, Cappy will not get the timing that you need. And then you wasted your 10 coins, but you only get one coin back. So it's not only a waste of your time, but of course it is a waste of your effort as well. 
So here we go, do the exact same thing. Now once you toss it, as soon as you see the, uh, the little king heart over there, you're gonna be fine, you're gonna be good to go. Now of course, collect everything and you're good. Case in point, let's take a look. So we have a 3104 coins. We have to pay the 10. So 3104 is what we started with. And then now we can see exactly how many we're going to get simply by waiting for it and then launching it. 3104. And once we got all these coins here, boom, 3134. So there's really no point in going to this one. It's really all about the Toasterino one. Just wanted to show you guys one more time. Uh, and then of course, like you can jump around the area if you throw your cappy at the bushes, if you throw cappy at the uh, these little pipes over here, you can get a couple coins, but that's really not the best way of doing it. But I wanted to cover my bases because uh, some people may think that this slot machine, oh, there's more slots, that means equal, that, that's more money. Anyway, next best thing up over here. This is going to be in the Bowser's Kingdom, all right? I'm assuming that you've all beaten the game and you're into post game, all right? So if you guys don't have access to this area in post game, uh, you need to go crack open that uh, moon rock and you'll have access to way more different moons and the game just really opens up once you beat the main boss. So anyway, warp over here to this specific spot all the way on top of Bowser's Kingdom and we're gonna go to the southwest area. Do a long jump and then we're gonna do another long jump off so that we reach a seed. Now these next three methods are going to be the best methods for you. Simply put, grab said seed and you're going to deposit it in the little patch of soil over here. These are the beanstalk levels and they're very, very fun. So if you're able to toss the seed over there, go for it. If you toss the seed too far and it falls off, don't worry, the seed will respawn, just walk backwards and you'll be good to go. So jump on top of the very uh, tip top of that beanstalk and now you're gonna be set into a bonus level. Now this bonus level is a little different. Um, I would say you have a maximum of around like 185 coins. And this map over here, it only takes about 30 seconds to do. So that's pretty quick, but provided you have really, really good accuracy and you're able to hold the thumbstick completely straight forward. If you can absolutely do it straight forward without any turning, you're going to get 180-ish every single time you do it. Now, the setup is pretty easy too. It takes about 30 seconds, 35 seconds as well. The setup is going to be once you're done with it, do a, long, a couple long jumps over here, grab said seed, and then walk all the way back and you're gonna have to rinse and repeat that. So if you think about it, maybe about 35 seconds of a setup, 30 seconds of the level, you get about 180 coins on average. That's pretty decent, right? I would say so. And it's actually really fun, going through, throwing Cappy at the rocket flowers, just trying your best to get every single coin. It's, it's quite tough, so give that a shot. All right, here's the next best, in my opinion. All right, so this is the Wooded Kingdom. Head on over to the Wooded Kingdom, make sure you're in post game. Um, not really sure if it's available in non post game, but what we have to do over here is the exact same concept. It's gonna be another beanstalk level. Now with this beanstalk level, warp all the way over to the secret flower field where the boss of the world was. And of course, if you take a look at these little robot guys, this guy right over here, he says, pull the lever to receive a seed. Now we're gonna do the exact same thing. We're gonna grab the seed and we're gonna bring it to one spot all the way up top. So this setup, I would say, takes about a minute or so. It takes about a minute of not getting any coins, but it'll be worth it towards the end. The setup is very easy too. You're just doing a little bit of platforming. If you feel that you're about to fall off, feel free to just ditch the seed and then go respawn it. So you can do a triple jump over here. You can just hop around. Uh, what you need to do is head on over to this spot where the soil's at. Now, of course, there's an opportunity where you can indeed throw the seed off the ledge. And if that happens, just respawn it. So. I'm gonna show you guys exactly what happens over here. Now, in the Wooded Kingdom, you get a maximum of about third, 231 coins, which is really, really good. And the level takes about 45 seconds to do. So if you think about it, that's really, really good. And this one's relatively easy too. So grab the uproot over here. And if you're not familiar with how to use the uproot, you press the Y button to extend up. And then while you're extended up with your long, spiky, planty legs, you can absolutely walk around. As soon as you let go of the Y button, you'll do a little flip forward. So that's exactly what we're gonna be doing, getting all these coins here. I like to start from the top and then move my way down, collecting all of these guys and then collecting those and then stretching all the way up, grabbing this. You can indeed jump up to get said a moon for an additional five coins. And of course, right over here in this spot is just running up and down. That's all you gotta do. And then of course, right over here, get that moon, get all these coins, 
and you're really set, good to go. That's all you have to do. So, 231 coins max, like right around there, uh, on average, and you're good to go. So take a look at this. The setup for this, rinse and repeat, very simple. Do a long jump, into a roll, into another long jump, into a roll, into a roll, into a roll, and you're good to go. That's it. Boom. Hit the seed, you're set. So set the timer now. This is about a minute, so... I don't know if you could do it any faster. I'm pretty sure if you cut corners and whatnot, you're gonna maximize on your time. But, case in point, this is exactly what we're talking about. Jump back up. Jump way over here. We're gonna do the exact same thing. Jumping over here. Jumping on top. And you're good to go. So that's great. Like, I love that. 231 coins in about, what, like a minute, 45 seconds? Let's just round up and call it two minutes. So, that's pretty great. That's like 100 coins a minute on average. Go for it. So anyway, you're gonna go into there and then you're going to rinse and repeat the entire time, okay? If you guys are hardcore like I am, you're gonna be doing it for quite some time. All right, so this is my personal favorite one, okay? This is the one that I've done in order to make my tutorial video on all of the costumes before the game came out, provided um, by Nintendo of America. Uh, and of course, you can practice your super long jumping. So since you're in the water over here, what you're going to want to do is pretty much get this uh, the seed right on top. Very easy to get. Depending on which angle you hit it, the seed may jump inside the water, but it doesn't matter because you're going to be going really, really fast anyway. So grab the seed, toss it over there, grab Cappy to remove that log, grab the seed again, fly on up, and then launch it right into there and you are good to go. So, that's pretty easy, right? Alright, now here's the best part. The best part is the actual level. I love this level because it's very simple. There's not too much thinking to do. It's literally holding one direction, which is right on your joystick, and pressing the ZL button. So that's it. You can hold right, and then stop holding right. Press ZL. And then hold right again, stop holding right, press ZL. And then that's really all you have to do. I feel it's the easiest one. Uh, although it doesn't net you as many coins as the Wooden Kingdom, I feel that there's not too much button input, and you could just be sitting here, reading YouTube comments, scrolling through your YouTube sub box and just be doing this in the background. So, uh, as you guys can see over here, you just float on down. You don't necessarily have to do that. Uh, but yeah, this one's pretty good. You can get about 200 coins with this one. You can go backwards a little bit and get the moon, but that's just a waste of your time because you want to do this. Now, this one's a little bit of staggered here. So you do four, you fall down a little bit, do four more, and you just stagger that. And then you just drill all the way down and you're good to go. So that's it. That whole uh, area, takes about a minute on average. And if you get those 200 coins in a minute, you're gonna be golden, right? And of course, if you know how to do the super long jump, uh, simply by long jumping, throwing Cappy, diving onto him, and then diving again, uh, you guys are gonna be set. So the setup for this one takes a little bit of practice, uh, but if you can do it as fast as I can, I'm pretty sure you can do it faster, it's about 40 seconds. Not bad at all. So about a minute 40, the whole setup, and you're good to go. So climb up this, uh, climb up the beanstalk, and you guys are set. So, good luck to all of you guys. I'm really, really hoping that this video does help you out. If it does help you out, then definitely smash that like button because we've got a lot more tutorials coming at you. If you guys have not seen the tips and tricks tutorial playlist, go check it out right here. You can check out the newest video that I've worked on right over there. And of course, the 100% walkthrough where we're going through from the very beginning of the game, getting all the moons, all the regional kingdom coins and having a great time with it. So go check that out. Now, like I said, if the video helped you out, share this video. Let's get everyone on board with this. If you guys have any ideas of how to get coins even faster, I'd love to hear about it because grinding for over 10,000 coins is going to take hours. Oh my gosh. Either way, these are ways that are going to help you. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, turn your notifications on, and I will see you guys on the next Super Mario Odyssey tips and tricks tutorial video. Have a great day.